Welcome to lecture 33 in which we will have a review of Carnot maps and has been the case uh, or as has been the case for several of our recent lectures we'll jump right into the test. All of the problems on this test for lecture 33 will refer to this function which I found in the Gavon book that I've mentioned in several of our previous lectures. So we have a function here of the four Boolean variables w, x, y, and z, and that function is f of w, x, y, and z equals x, z, or x, y prime, z prime, or w prime, x prime, y, or w, y, z prime. And so the two questions are very simple. The first one, 33.1, asks you to find all minimal sums. And the second one, 33.2, asks you to find all minimal products. And as usual, the third one will be presented in class. And the only remaining thing I want to do is to make sure you can read all of these uh, easily and understand what they mean. In the first one, where you're supposed to find all minimal sums, this is 33.1, choice A is F equals XY prime or XZ or W prime X prime Y or WYZ prime. Choice B is F equals XY prime or WX or W prime YZ or X prime YZ prime. And then for choices C and D, uh, there's actually two minimal sums given. In C, the two minimal sums are F equals XY prime or XZ or W prime X prime Y or WYZ prime and F equals XY prime or WX or W prime YZ or X prime YZ prime. And in choice D, the two minimal sums given are F equals XY prime or XZ or W prime YZ or X prime YZ prime and F equals XY prime or WX or W prime X prime Y or WYZ prime. So again, you have only one minimal sum given in answers A and B two minimal sums given in each of answers C and D. And then in 33.2, in which you're supposed to find all the minimal products, the answers are F equals uh, the product of uh, W or X or Y in parentheses with W prime or X or Y in parentheses with W prime or X or Z prime in parentheses uh, with W or X prime or Y prime or Z in parentheses. Uh, that's choice A. In choice B, we have F equals X or Y in parentheses, W prime or X or Z prime in parentheses, W or X prime or Y prime or Z in parentheses. And in choice C, F is equal to X or Y in parentheses, W prime or X or Y prime or Z prime in parentheses, and then uh, w or X prime or Y prime or Z in parentheses. <laughs> and finally, in choice D, F is equal to W or X or Y in parentheses, W prime or X or Y in parentheses, W prime or X or Y prime or Z prime in parentheses, and then finally, W or X prime or Y prime or Z in parentheses. And of course, when we have these parenthetical terms together with no sign in between them, that's understood to be ending those terms together. So we have, uh, for instance, here in B, we would have this first parenthetical term ended with the second parenthetical term ended with the third parenthetical term. And, and the same for all of these, just as we've been doing all semester. So um, uh, those are the two questions, the two uh, in-lecture questions for Lecture 33. And then, as mentioned before, uh, there will also be a third question in class. So uh, good luck.